what is up bros and welcome back and today we're going to be bringing you another new episode of discord tricks for you to use against the enemies during this quarantine now i hope all of you guys and your families are staying safe during these times and i hope this video will help you guys get by that much quicker one thing i wanted to mention is that i have been getting some questions about my number that i said you can text me at and yes that really is my number and i've been trying to reply to a couple dozen every day but i'm still behind because i have quite a bit waiting so thank you guys all for the patience and thanks again to everyone because as you know the youtube algorithm can be really messy so i've also been texting out when i upload and i still see a ton of comments saying that you don't even get notified when i upload so that could potentially help out the channel during these crazy times as well and i just wanted to quickly address that and say thank you yet again for anyone wondering anyways bra fam let's kick it off with a trick that will make your opponent scratch their head First up, we have this clever way to use Nomad that will open up the option to even have her air jabs completely silent so that flanking defenders won't even know that it's there. The first method is to melee the wall at an angle so that just one of the two layers of the wall is broken. From there, you can put a single bullet hole on the second layer and then place your air jab right on top. The air jab will then be inside of the two layers of the wall and be hard to spot since it's just a bullet hole. This is a very consistent method to use and the air jab will work just like normal and it'll confuse and slam your opponents. The second option that you have is to place it without the melee hole and just directly on top of a bullet hole. By doing this, you will then only be able to hear the air jab on the side that it was placed and it will be completely silent on the other side to defenders. The only issue I ran into this is that sometimes the air jab acted really inconsistent and sometimes it went off without even sending the defender flying as far. Now bringing it all together for the 1000 IQ play is taking the same concept but by doing it below or even directly under a placed diffuser. In a situation like this you can open up a layer under the diffuser and then place it right underneath for an air jab that has its sound masked by the bomb and when used in sneaky spots this can guarantee a win if it's something like a 1v1 situation. For our second trick, this is going to be a combo that you can use to get a guaranteed grenade kill and it's not even an exaggeration. Anyone playing around plat 3 and up probably knows how common it is to have a player holding top yellow on consulate and most of the time they will also be assisted with a Jaeger ADS and they'll be carrying a shotgun with them. That makes it insanely annoying for anybody pushing up. Well, by using this Thatcher trick to do a pool table trick shot off of the ceiling and then having your EMP land on top of the soda vending machine, that will actually be in range to take out any ADS is placed above no matter where they are. Now, if you do this simultaneously with your teammate cooking a nade, you will guarantee the kill with that nade without the anchor at top yellow having any time to react. I definitely suggest trying this out in a custom game and taking a look at where I place my EMP right on those bullet holes because if you place it just a little bit off of that, sometimes the EMP doesn't roll to the front and there's an ADS that could potentially get away. But when thrown like this, it should be able to reach all perimeters no matter where they place it above you. Trick number three is probably the easiest on this list and honestly might get you the most kills out of this whole video. This is a super simple pixel peek right into the doorway of wine cellar behind the indestructible wooden container. Now even though it's indestructible you can still shoot through it so even if you just see somebody feel free to just go ahead and spray. You can get angles directly onto the head of anyone by the door all without you being seen even if they try to blow up the wooden container. Now also, if you have an ADS here with you, you're going to be so annoying to attackers and they're going to be forced to funnel through the door at the last moments of the round and it's going to be like 300 all over again and you'll be King Leonidas while they scream at their monitor and call you a rat. So all in all, yeah, it's a perfect combo that makes our type of videos. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a complete video with at least one new spawn kill variation. And for our fourth trick in this video, we have a new variation on how you can get your head elevated way higher than normal on this very obvious and common spawn peak. 
Now your head is going to be really high. So even if they do shoot back, it's only going to land on your body. You're also going to be able to look into their spawn extremely deep. And actually it's right as soon as they get past that stone wall. So it's going to have that level of unexpectedness to it while they're shooting the default cam. And if you're playing a dock and they are able to land a shot, then you can just jump off and reheal yourself anyways. Now moving over to small tower for trick number five, we have a Valkyrie camera that will be nearly invisible if anyone is playing on settings greater than the lowest. If you look up in small tower, you're gonna see the two bright skylights shining down. And if you chuck your cam up there, then the light will shine right through the camera and it'll be almost transparent. This camera also covers pretty much the whole small tower. So it's really good when defending dining and kitchen. Now the downside to it is that if the attacker on the other side does have low settings, then it sticks out. But honestly, I still go for it most of the times because the payoff if you get away with it is worth the risk versus just having to place a common camera spot up in the corner if you want one in small tower up next we have a trick that might start some fight in the comments but honestly i don't see this as a glitch at all all you're doing in this trick is literally planting the diffuser inside of a cardboard box after you create the opening in the box by breaking it this is 100 percent realistic and could be done in real life so that's my stance on it but let me know what you think now by hitting the traffic cones and then in the middle of the vertical cardboard box you can then place the diffuser inside so that it stays hidden from defenders so that they don't spot it unless they actually physically look at it if the defenders smack the box then they can diffuse it and see it just like normal so it's not inside of some indestructible undiffusable spot it's literally just inside of a cardboard box like imagine an actual task force planting a diffuser and then placing a cardboard box on top of it to hide it actually 200 iq in my opinion Up next is this quick trick you can use to cut off the downstairs rotation extremely quickly and possibly get some kills on defenders rotating back from reinforcing the hatches above. Now if you can get your teammate that's like a buck to open up the four then you also won't have to use as much utility but once you have the northeast corner in the weight room opened up you can then impact the four right outside of the bar door right above the bottom of the stairs and get this nasty 3-4 sideways angle to stop kitchen flanks and even get crazy early kills. Trick number eight, we're gonna be giving some love to Echo with this really clever drone spot that is really unexpected. Not only do people immediately look at the ceiling for Echo drones, but when you see the counter on Cafe Destroyed, it's not weird at all and it doesn't stick out either because a lot of times defenders open this up to watch the push from attackers and take away their cover. Well, you can actually use a yokai drone underneath this countertop just like as if it was on the ceiling and it will be on a whole new level of sneaky while you get view of the entire upstairs bomb site in the bar. Also keep in mind if you have an oryx on this site you can completely open up the counters without him taking any damage and it's really fast without having to use any impacts or shotgun ammo. At number 9 is the quick mention of another invisible vigil spot you can use. If you missed the last vigil trick, it's just showing how the vertical distance that drones can spot you is much lower than the capable horizontal distance. So if you can elevate vigil high enough, then drones will never get that distorted glitch effect to let them know that a vigil is nearby, therefore making them think that a certain room is clear. Now obviously by doing this then that opens up the opportunity for you to get easy kills on the entry fragger that's not even looking at you because their teammate called out or they themselves droned and thought it was clear. Then they can scream at each other and quit while you laugh your way back to site and to your next rank. Now I'm super excited to see what the bra fam thinks of this one. We're taking something as old as the siege beta itself with barbed wire and using it in a whole new way that is probably the most toxic way to use it and I could honestly see being used in high level siege. Now on certain sites that are amazing for anchors there are surfaces that are perfectly head level and we're gonna just use this one in arsenal room on clubhouse for this example. Now when you place barbed wire on top of these boxes it creates really awkward lines of visibility to see 
see through and defenders automatically have the advantage because you will be finding that opening and holding that line of sight when you know where attackers are pushing from whereas attackers have to peek and look to find that line of sight to see you even if they drone you out that's a big reason defenders in siege already have the advantage even if you don't use this trick attackers have to be the ones to move and defenders don't it's that simple now obviously you have less utility to slow down the attackers but a lot of times barbed wire also just gets wasted anyways so it's just gonna have to be that decision that you make if you think it's worth it for doing this or not anyways bra fam that's gonna wrap it up for this video now go take what you saw today and get a bunch of easy kills in your upcoming games Sorry for the delay in this upload. I tried to get this one out sooner, but I ended up like removing some tricks, adding in some new ones, and I'm really happy with this end result, and I hope you liked it too. So if you like this video, please leave a like. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Stay safe and feel free to come join the Discord to hang out and chat if you need anything. I love you all. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Peace.